how to sell your house without a realtor in Tampa Bay. Stick around for my tips and tricks. Hey guys, Brittany Lung, Tampa Bay area real estate agent. Today I'm sharing how to sell your house without a realtor in Tampa. Before we start rolling, if you get value from my content, please subscribe or follow me on social. Selling your house without a realtor in Tampa Bay can be done. It might not be easy, it might be time consuming, and you might not make as much money, but it is possible. This video is dedicated to my tips and tricks to make it happen. One, price. You need to put time into researching the homes that have sold in close proximity to your own home in similar condition and size to accurately determine a price. If you price too high, your home will just sit with no interest. If you list too low, you'll be losing money. Unfortunately, most for sale by owners go into listing their homes to save money, but the vast majority lose money because of faulty pricing. Two, get your home ready to list. Declutter. Start packing those things that you don't use every day. Refresh your home, zhuzh it up a bit. Invest in small touches that will give your home a more updated feel. And stage your home to be show ready. Three, invest in professional photos. Unless you yourself are a professional photographer, you absolutely need to hire a professional for your home photos. It will cost a couple hundred dollars, but trust me, nobody wants to look at dark draft photos with poor composition taken from your iPhone. The vast majority of home buyers find their homes online and your photos are the first impression. If your pictures don't capture a buyer's interest in the first few seconds, there's a good chance they're never going to look at your listing again. Four, utilize the power of video. Video helps buyers see the layout and flow of the house in a way pictures just don't convey. Viewers retain 95% of a message with video versus 10% retention with text. People share videos 1,200% more than any other type of content. This tells us that people remember videos they watch and they're more likely to share it. Spend time on YouTube looking at listing videos to find ones that stand out. Have a marketing plan. You want your home to be exposed to as many potential buyers as possible. Five, as a for sale by owner, you will not have the advantage of listing your house in the MLS. Your best bet will be utilizing the power of social media, putting your home on Zillow. Zillow can be hit and miss with less than 20% of people scrolling homes on Zillow actually looking to buy. Six, it's imperative that you understand the contracts and disclosures that you're gonna be filling out and signing. Some can be verbal, some need to be in writing. It's up to you to understand which is which. These documents have legal ramifications. Seven, have flexibility in your work schedule. You will need to be scheduling all of the vendors that you need to list, from staging to photos, video, and that pre-listing inspection. You're gonna be getting calls, emails, and text messages from realtors and interested buyers during normal work hours and in the evenings, asking you questions about your home, scheduling showings, presenting offers, and negotiating. If buyers are not represented by an agent, expect to spend lots of time showing the home yourself. It's important to know what information you legally must share versus sharing too much information. Eight, safety first. When you list for sale by owner, you are more likely to attract buyers who aren't pre-qualified to buy a home. Most agents will not work with someone who is not pre-qualified. This is an added element of security vetting who is being allowed into your home, and it keeps buyer's agents from wasting their time on someone who actually isn't ready to buy a home. Interested parties who are not pre-qualified can bypass this by looking at homes listed for sale by owner, i.e. you. So just beware. Thanks for tuning into this video. If you want to learn more about what I can do to help you make smart real estate decisions and prepare your home for sale, let's set up a meeting. Click the link in the description to schedule your appointment. Also, if you're interested in learning how to join my real estate team, click the link to schedule a discovery meeting. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's real estate topics. See you in the next video.